my paper has a fairly long title. I'm not sure I can remember it exactly as it is, but it's about um, a Markov regime switching vector autoregressive model for firm level, uh, for studying the underwriting profitability of firm level data in the property liability industry. Um, the idea is that um, there, the fundamental idea is that there's something that's recognized by both um, insurance practitioners and academics as the underwriting cycle. Um, it's been talked about for decades. Um, it's been written about in the academic literature for, for decades as well. Um, uh, perhaps the, the earliest rigorous analyses um, were given in the 1980s. Um, and subsequently, there, the literature has gone off in a, in a number of directions. But we think that there, and when I say we, my, um, my co-author, Frank Fung, who is a professor at Shanghai University of Finance and Economics, um, we believe that there are two fundamental questions that really have not been addressed adequately in the literature. One of those is whether the underwriting profitability cycle is truly regular. And the other is whether uh, the cycle mechanism or the cycle phenomenon exists at um, the individual company level, the individual firm level. So the, those are the two fundamental issues that we attempt to address in our paper. Okay. So what have you found so far in, in your study? Well, with regard to the first, um, the first issue, um, we are very satisfied that um, the, the evidence, and not, not just in our research, but from prior research as well, um, indicates that although w we use the term cycle and the, the underwriting cycle, um, and, and the use of the term cycle is much uh, as it might be um, in the, the phrase business cycle. So it refers to a, city, a, a series of alternating ups and downs. In the case of insurance underwriting, we would call those hard markets and soft markets. Um, but it, so there is a, a repeating pattern of ups and downs, uh, but it's not necessarily regular. In fact, in, in most cases, I, I don't think that it is very regular. So despite the term cycle sort of suggesting a type of regularity, um, I don't think that the regularity exists. However, most of the academic literature has implicitly assumed a type of regularity in one way or another, uh, most commonly by using an AR2 model um, and viewing the AR2 model as sort of a pseudo-cyclical model, um, and in many cases estimating period length or, or cycle length um, without necessarily proving the statistical significance of um, of, the, of that cyclical or that, that regular periodic behavior. Uh, so we, we feel that a regime switching model, and in particular a Markov regime switching model, which allows us to, to switch back and forth between the hard and the soft market in a, in a, according to a random mechanism, is the appropriate model to use to, to study the data. I think that perhaps the, for, for practitioners the most useful finding uh, would be that the um, that when one enters, say, a hard market or, or a soft market, um, one may be able to recognize that indeed that such a market has begun, but there um, it, it's 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 really not dependable in any way, um, or one shouldn't expect to be able to make a reasonable um, estimate of the length of the market based upon some sort of regularity in historical data. Certainly one could make an estimate, but the, the estimate would have a, a substantial um, standard deviation as a, or, or variation associated with it. Uh, the, second, the second part of the research, of course, is to look at the firm level data and to see whether indeed this type of, um, this type of phenomenon, the, the alternating um, hard and soft markets exist for individual companies as well as for the market as a whole. And what we find is that, yes, indeed, uh, the switching model is appropriate, um, but that different companies may have um, somewhat different behavior, and it may deviate from what we see in the aggregate. So that one, uh, another, I think, practical lesson um, for practitioners 
would be that um, one can't assume that every com every company in the market is um, going to enter the mar enter the hard market or the soft market at the same time or exit uh, to tran transition from one type of market to the other at the same time. 